Well, hey there, and hello, Kristen Seleni. She is a celebrity chef who's cooked for everyone, from Taylor Swift to the cast of Saturday Night Live, and she has released a new brand of designer aprons, I'm wearing one now, called Cellini, in conjunction with a cookbook filled with delicious recipes and preset menus for each season. It's awesome. It completely breaks down. Kristen Seleni is the executive chef of Boca di Baco. Did I say that right? Yeah. It's here in New York City. She's the author of the new cookbook, Domestic Chic, which is amazing. Kristen, welcome. Thank you so much. So this is what I love, that each one of your, your uh, meals has a complete menu. And how important is theme eating? Well, you know, so when I sat down to, to write this cookbook, I said, instead of being overwhelmed with all these traditional style of cookbooks where you have your appetizers, your entrees, some people don't know how to pair food together. Yeah. So I said, why don't I just make it easy for everybody? I divide it up seasonally because I'm a strong believer in seasonal eating, mm -hmm. you know, going to your farmer's market, getting what you can get in season. Um, so I give you a preset menu for different holidays, special occasions by the season, You're gonna do this. and some decor tips too. I'm going to put the mushrooms on the red plate and the bacon on the white plate. So is it true that if you just add bacon to everything, it makes it better? <laughs> Apparently so, right? <laughs> I hope so. So one of the things that, uh, that you had offered to show me how to cook was stuffed mushrooms. It's getting to be fall. I love fall weather. Stuffed mushrooms are incredible because they make your kitchen smell so good. Mm. And they're a delightful comfort food that we always forget. So what's your recipe? So today we're kind of doing a different spin on stuffed mushrooms. We're doing it with sautéed spinach and some goat cheese, some fresh herbs, kind of to take a different... You know, different approach to your stuffed mushroom. Okay. So we'll get started. So here, I like I little just have, Yeah. Well, I'll have you sprinkle in some Parmesan cheese into the goat cheese. Into the goat cheese. I'm sprinkling, sprinkling some uh, oregano. We have basil and mm. parsley. So you've got dried oregano. Exactly. Fresh basil. Fresh basil and fresh parsley. Mm. And then here's just our sautéed spinach that we did with, you know, just some great garlic and olive oil. Um, and now this is a different take because typically what you'll do your stuffed mushrooms with is a breadcrumb. Yes. And I know we're all about gluten-free over here. One of us has celiac disease. That's correct. And the I other is a celebrity chef. <laughs> and it's very difficult for people to tell the difference right now, and I understand that. <laughs> well, especially in your dolce apron. I know. I mean, look at this. Look like a <laughs> I know so often uh, when I'm cooking, I look like a schlub because I'm wearing, like, athleta sweatpants pulled up to my bosom. <laughs> and then, you know, one of my husband's embarrassingly large shirts. But if I put this over it... Well, and like, now that's the, you know, that's the statement of Cellini, keeping yeah. you fashionably fabulous in the kitchen. And that's what we're Lord all knows about. I need help cooking and looking. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, so this, speaking of looking, this is starting to look good. So this looks great. So then what Could we I do... Could I shove that in my mouth now or do I have to cook it? Am I morally obligated to cook it before? <laughs> you actually don't have to. I mean, it is just cheese and sautéed spinach mm -hmm. already, so you could eat it. Um, so now into our mushroom caps. Here we go. <laughs> if you just want it, we got to get to our filling too. Oh, we can, oh, we're not there yet. <laughs> no, we are. Oh my gosh, can't eat all of it, right? No, we can't. Although <laughs> it is quite good. That's oh my the gosh, beauty of cooking, though, right? Well, you've you, already made you it with the dry oregano all the way. and the basil. This is already delicious. Mm -hmm. So then, basically, from here, you just sprinkle on a little more Parmesan cheese on top. That's right. You pop those into the oven for about 20 minutes. That's it? That's, That's about it. 450, 350, what are we talking about? Uh, you want to do about 425. Okay, so a little on the higher minutes. end. Exactly. Bacon. Now, bacon I wanted to add. This is, you know, a new addition, right? As we said, yes. everything tastes good with bacon. Yes. So get it in there. And then perfect. And then here's our ones that were already baked, too. We can add some bacon on these. These are like <laughs> mushroom cupcakes. Ooh, I like that. I think you just created something new. <laughs> That's raw. That is delicious. <laughs> this one, perfect. I would try to cook one. Yum. Oh, my God. Really good. And love, you know, like the difference of the textures. You always want to add like a crunch with something, you know, a little different. That's a nice thing about stuffed mushrooms is they're rich, they're earthy, but still... Now, they can be very uh, high fat, high calorie, but not with the goat cheese and sprinkle parmigiano. One of my mm. favorite things on earth whenever I go to Italy, prosciutto e melone. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, it doesn't get any better than this. But so you have a twist. I, I have this a is twist. not just prosciutto wrapped around cantaloupe. Exactly. Antelope. So what I do, and this is in, uh, both of these uh, recipes are in, <laughs> are in domestic chic. I like to marinate the cantaloupe in blood orange. So you want to marinate it. That sounds it. amazing. Yeah, you want to marinate in that. Now, do you do that before or after you marinate it in vodka? <laughs> well, you throw the vodka in beforehand. All right. No worries. Mm. Um, so this is so easy to make, right? So I'll get. I'll let you have that one. Okay. I'll take one of these. This has already been marinated, and I've okay. marinated in for um, a little over an hour. I mean, simple, simple, easy peasy. Yep. Just wrap the prosciutto around, and then I like to drizzle on these right here. Have a little more blood orange juice, and then fresh mint well, on drizzy. top. Does Taylor Swift like prosciutto wrapped cantaloupe? 
she actually she had the stuffed mushrooms when she was in. That's the thing that she eat. <laughs> oh, I don't know what her favorite thing was. I know she she was very concerned about the temperature in the restaurant, mm. not to affect the vocal cords. Yes, of course. So that was that was that was the lesson Do I walked think away she's from. Than me? I think you take the cake. Oh my gosh, you're my favorite person <laughs> ever. Jen Janini. These are the aprons you have to buy one immediately. And her cookbook, Domestic Chic. It is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.